Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to become a guardian ad litem. To become a guardian ad litem, you must meet specific qualifications and follow a defined process, which can vary by state. Hashtag qualifications. In Minnesota, for example, you need a BA or BS in a relevant field, such as psychology, social work, education, or law, or an equivalent combination of training, education, or experience. You must also have access to reliable transportation, a valid driver's license, and sufficient communication skills to conduct interviews and prepare reports. In Virginia, to qualify as a guardian ad litem for children, you must be an active member in good standing of the Virginia State Bar. You need to complete a seven-hour required course on the representation of children as a guardian ad litem and demonstrate familiarity with the court system and juvenile law. Hatch hashtag training and certification. In Florida, a guardian ad litem must complete 30 hours of certification training and 12 hours of annual recertification training. Volunteers are provided with all necessary training for free. In Minnesota, you must complete the training and orientation requirements set forth by the program, which includes passing a background check. Role and Responsibilities A guardian ad litem is appointed by a court to advocate for the best interests of a child, typically in cases of abuse, neglect, or abandonment. The role involves collecting information about the child's family, situation, needs, and wishes, and providing comprehensive reports and recommendations to the court. Tashed. Time commitment. The time commitment can vary, but typically ranges from five to 10 hours per month per case. However, some cases may require more time, especially those involving older children or complex issues. Application and approval. In Virginia, you must submit a letter requesting qualification along with written certification of your familiarity with the court system and juvenile law. You also need a nomination certificate signed by a juvenile court judge or a qualified guardian ad litem. Continuing education. To maintain your qualification, you must complete continuing education requirements. In Virginia, for example, you need to complete six hours of approved continuing education every two years. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.